And hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Dynasty Tactics, I am Rudy95. I've done a little bit of meddling about my armies and through reading the handbook of this game I've learned something about the statistics of this game. Strength and intelligence and leadership are important. Strength and intelligence both define your raising your attack and defense ability respectively. Strength for attack, intelligence for defense. All of these intelligence, strength and leadership increase your effectiveness of your tactics. However, the leadership of its statistic actually increases both the attack and defense of your character. So it's a very important one, actually, come to think of it. So I've also learned something else, um, that we actually won't get to Luku, because once you send an army to take Wu Chang, this happens. defeats Yuan Shao and takes Hebei, becoming the greatest power in the land. It was clear that Cao Cao's next target was the south. Sun Se sets out to expand in order to withstand Cao Cao. He turns to subjugating local rulers, beginning with Liu Biao. I don't know why it's saying Sun Xuan, because it's not, it's Sun Se. It shows in Jian Jia as his next target. Aim for the heavens. Occupy Jian Jia within 10 minutes. Six turns, so not a lot of turns. Sun Shao is ours. Now, the important thing to note is that we are at war with Liu Biao. So we need to occupy there, so they will be sending officers to attack us. Now, there is a number of things I want to do here. I want to, first off, I want to see a bunch of Yon Shah's officers are up there, but I don't think we can get any of them. Get, we could get Yufan, uh, Kong Rong, if we can get him all the way up there, but... Well, I, I'll try, I'll try, because I'm not going to be using Yufan, I don't think. I also need to get someone over there to get Lang Tong, preferably Lu Ming. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get much of these people in all honesty. Liu Feng, where's Liu Feng again? I think Liu Feng is down here somewhere. Right, Mi Fang, you can get Liu Feng. Yes, you can get him. And Zhang Hong, you can try and go and get Kong wrong. Because I'm not using you at the moment. But that's pretty much it. Uh, also, I do want to... Gonna have to... I think I'm gonna have to know... I'm gonna have to put Taishis uh, here for now. Because I need someone, preferably Lu Ming, to go and get Ling Tong. I believe it's there. Can no one get Quan Zhong? Quan Zhong? Really? None of none of us. Ah, Zhu Huan. You can get him. Can anyone else get him? Because I really, I've already got um. I'm in an army. No, we're gonna have to be Zhu Huan. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, I'm very, I'm being very, I'm actually paying attention to my officers in this, um, this type. That's a playthrough. Right. Right, let's do this. I think we can also take, um, if we're lucky, we can take Shou Chun just because. I'm gonna have to give him the. 
Right, where's Kongrong? Where's the quickest way up there? Let's do there. Right, so we will be getting attacked by Liu Biao. So I'm going to have to put some strong armies down there. As you can see, we can't attack any of these areas. Um, we also can't eat. We also can't take Shouchun because it's forbidden for us. So really, we're just going to be spending this scenario playing defense, essentially. Right, that will get me all of those officers. Um, you're going to have to get the own policy. And that's that. Um, we'll try and get Kong wrong. I doubt it, but we'll try. Look at how many people are up here. Right, so we have six turns to do this, so not a lot of turns. Let's try it. Guangzhou, Ling Tong. Right. I want to relieve you, and I want to relieve you because you two are going in my armies. Ding Feng, that's another one that I kind of want. Zhu Sheng, I'm going to need to get Zhu Sheng to get him, unfortunately. Let's have a look at our new officers there. Ling Tong, he's actually okay. He's got high strength, high leadership. Um, I think I actually want him to be a foot, an infantry unit. Nope, he's got volley, which means he's most useful as an archer unit. Um, who else did we get? We've got Konjong, high strength, high leadership, low morale, well, low intelligence. You're going to be a footman unit. Right, so let me do a little bit more of muddling about with my armies to see. Gonna put Zhu Huang there. I'm getting really into this uh, this play, this one actually. Let's replace you with Ling Tong for now. Right. To make Zhu Sheng an envoy. Let's have a quick look. Uh, doesn't seem yep, Ding Feng Zell will get him. It's important we get him because he's actually a commander, so if we get him then that means we can have form another army. Right. Don't think I'm gonna get Oh I could have sent um I can just send Cheng Wu. Pang Tong. Yep, Luigi, you're gonna go and get Pang Tong if we can. Right, where's, um, I'll leave you, I'm going to put you back in. You can go get Ding Feng. You can go and get Pang Tong, please. So just move and get him. Where is Pang Tong? I'm probably not going to be able to get him, in all honesty. I imagine that Pang Tong will be taken by, where is he? I am yeah, he's definitely going to be taken by Liu Biao, I'm sure. Unless Yang Lang and... Nah, he's going to be picked up, but I'll try. I'm going to try. But we are going to... Who do I want to attack with? My main army for sure. I'm going to attack Lu Ku in this turn for sure. Put uh, Zhang Zhao's army there. Uh, Zhang Zhao Hong. Just... If you... Go through the loo, go up here to Ping Wong and then to Bo Hai. That's the easiest way for you to get up there. Uh, just can you just come down straight to Changsha? Right, okay, this will work. This will work out. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work out quite well. Right, so let's do it. We've got uh, five turns left. Oh, they brought their army down. They brought their second army down. Okay, so this is a good thing I put my really, really strong army there. 
So okay, we're gonna have a fight with the UBI's main army. This is gonna be his main army, and I want to capture as many officers as I can. I've got three builders. Holy crap! It's a bit of a oh yeah, two of them are spies. That's why. All right, survive, ambush, or boost. I think ambush is probably gonna be the the most effective one for me here. I've got two D depots. Zhou Yu, Zhou Tai, Hongai, Cheng Pu, Wang Lang. Alright, Sun Tse's leadership is way up at 74 because I gave him the histories. Right, okay, so Zhu Xu is here, he has pit, there's nothing I can do about that, I've not got anyone with pit as of yet. Revive, he's got high intelligence. Liu Biao himself is quite crappy himself, um, Su Fei. Uh, he's okay. He's not. He's he's, he's meh. Kai Mao, ambition, flank, fire arrow, circle, circle, and pierce. Yang Chong's quite a good guy, actually. Zhang Yang is Gang Ning here. Gang Ning is here. I really need to capture Gang Ning in this battle. To the point where I will restart the battle if I can't get him. Hung Zhu himself is. Yeah, he's he's not too great. Zhang Yang is much more better than Hung Zhu. Right. So let's begin. Right. Now, practically every single one of his army is archer units. That is Lee. That is could be good for us. One builder. I'm gonna need someone to build. Build. I'm gonna need Joey to build a fence here. Yeah, we're going to need to build a fence, so I'm going to... Can you move there? Yes, you can move there. I'm going to keep Sunsei here. Because that pit from Zhushu is Zhushu will do a lot of damage if we allow it to happen. Hold position, everybody. Right, now this fence won't manage to cover the whole area, but it will cover a good portion. It will cover two. It's actually not that great. It doesn't cover as much as I wanted it to. We're going to have to get behind this... Um... Get behind this fence. This fence is really the only thing that's stopping Zhushu from pitting us. He's going to build a depot. Zhushu and Gang Ning are two of Liu Biao's best officers, so we really need to get them on our side. I'm going to use my spice to try and entice as many officers as I can as well. Bring the morale down to below 40, I believe. Yeah, below 40 and then entice them. This is the beginning of my uh, officer expansion plan that you guys have seen so often. Uh, again, hold position. I need to get Zhou Yu over there. Gang Nang is on his way. I need to be careful of that. If we can get Gang Nang down to where Hungai is, he'll be vulnerable to a fire attack. Now, we are consolidating all of our forces here in this area. I don't think if I move, he can't, yeah, he can't get Sunsei if I move him here. Alright. 
No, nope, not can you confuse anyone just yet. Alright, let's hold position still. This needs to be done. Right. We're almost at the point where you can build another uh, fence and completely block them off from that pit attack. Okay, I don't know if we want to do that yet though because Gang 9 has finally got, got and managed to get here. I think we're at a stage where we can start to consider attacking. Right, we do... Right, okay, let's start to consider moving up now that they're in range. He's just a little bit down. I'm going to try and entice him down to attack. Okay. They're all down here. Is there anyone that's got low morale? Hung has got low morale. I think he's a commander. No, he's not a commander. Everybody's got quite high morale for them because of those depots. Think. Let's confuse Gang Nine. Everybody pounce on Gang Nine and uh, bring our forces here out, ready to start engaging the flank. I'm going to boost you forward. So that you can move up into an all attack against Gang Ning. You can't do that though. That's a pickle. Yeah, that fire attack won't work. Unless he's here, unless he's down here. Ah, oh, I don't think I can pull this off. I circle him down, that'll push him down there, but Hungai doesn't have any good tactics that he can use. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to hold off on this just for now. What can you do? Vox Slide. Oh, you can Vox Slide, actually. Got to be careful of that rock slide from Hung Zhu. That's what he's getting into position to do. Right, let's move everybody out now. Got to be careful.
There's nothing I can do here, really. I could all attack, or I could link it. I think the only thing I'm going to have be able to do is link this all attack. And hope that Guy 9 doesn't break out of it on his own accord. All attack, circle, boost. No, yeah, that boost won't happen. Right, I hope this works. Do you have aid? No, you don't have aid. Right, this might work. It'll be a three, and if it defeats him, then we're in the money. If it captures him, we are uh, we're swimming. This decoy is not gonna. It's just meant to trigger it. Oh, come on, please. Yes! Capture! Oh, yeah, he's definitely captured now. Captured! Brilliant! That's the one officer that I really wanted to get. Now, if I can get Zhu Xu, we're in the money. Yeah, you're gonna decoy, that's fine. Right, but I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching this episode of, um, this op episode of Dynasty Tactics. If you have enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel for further content from myself, Red95. Content which includes Dynasty Tactics, Dynasty Sports 3, and Mass Effect. Next time we will continue to engage with the UBL's forces, hopefully capture the majority of his forces and take them away from him and bolster our own forces. We really want to get Zhu Xu, that's the main person we want to capture. The rest are all optional, but Zhu Xu is a must, we need to get him for our army. So thanks guys very much for watching, join me next time, and as always, take care.